In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of using the Texas General Land Office website. The web address is www.glo.texas.gov. For this tutorial, we will learn how to search for land grants. On the brown strip under the banner is the menus Home, What We Do, How Do I, Glow News, The Land Office, and Contact Us. We need to go to What We Do and go over to History and Archives on the left and go down to Research at the Archives. On the left of the Research at the Archives page, we need to go down to Land Grants. Click on Land Grants, and the search form to search the land grants opens up. As you see, we can there's a drop down for the counties. We can search any counties or no counties, abstract number, original grantee, patentee, class, file number, certificate, title date, patent date, patent number, patent volume, the section, and the survey information. But chances are you won't have all that information. Let's search by someone's last name and do a broad search, no, no counties, and just click on search. It opens up and gives us 20 records under that last name. And as you can see, it goes by county, abstract number, district class, file number, grantee, and patentee. And it has several different links, as you can tell. The Land Grant Office is diligently scanning all their documents and will put it out as a PDF file. The ones that don't have a PDF link by them have not been scanned yet, but will be scanned. If you want a copy of those files that haven't been scanned, you can contact the Land Grant Office and they'll get, make you a copy. In this particular file, it has several documents. There'll be uh, the reason why you get the land grant. The certificate might be in there. The, um, the survey information. And you can print this out or you can save it. Uh, and the land grant office wants you to do that. Uh, if they haven't scanned it, they'll charge you $2 a page, but they will make copies for you. And when you save it, you can say it'll be a PDF file that you save. Now let's go back and get the abstract number. You can click on that and it gives you a little bit more information about the abstract. It tells you the person's name and the date and the amount of acreage. I'm going to copy the abstract number and then I'm going to go back to their map and you can see exactly on the map where that land grant is. Click on the map at the top and it opens up the GIS maps at the GLOW page. You need to go down to launch GLOW viewer and it opens up a map. Click on Agree, and then go up to the top, and it has Search Tools. Click on Search Tools, and go down to County and Abstract Search. Click on that, and then find the county that it was in. That one was in Bell. And paste the abstract number. Click on search and the county abstract search is here. You can double click that red button and where the land grant is on the map appears in red. It's in Bell County and you can, can go over to that little box and click here for detailed information and it will give you a sheet of the information. 
and I saved this for my records. You can uh, scroll up and down or down to make it larger or smaller, and you can see where it actually is in the county. Go up to the tool set and go down to street view. And it'll show you a street view map on the left and then it will show you an actual picture of the land. The green flag correlates with the green flag on the map. And you can see that what is happening with that land currently. This is Dana Ribble. If you have any questions, you can contact me at dana.ribble at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.